what's up guys mega here and i'm coming at you again from the front of my six million dollar mansion so i didn't really have any good ideas for this video so we're just gonna look at people's social blades and comment on that ah uh, yes socialblade.com the website that tells you everything you need to know about your favorite youtubers uh, specifically how much money they make so i thought it would be interesting to take a look at the social blade of some YouTubers I watch see, see uh, how well they're doing right now. Or at least that's what I was originally going to do, but then I decided let's meme this whole video by taking a look of by taking a look at YouTubers that I only watch ironically and then see how much money they make. All right, so here we go. Let's see here. Who should we start off with? Well, let's start off with the one person I made a video on a couple weeks ago. Let's see how much Logan Paul makes. Of course, he's got an A plus for a total rank. Estimated monthly earnings: fifty-five thousand through eight hundred and twenty-two thousand a month. Why? So this means he makes six hundred thirty-one thousand through ten point six million a year. He doesn't deserve any of that. Alright, well, let's look at his statistics. Let's see which of his many epic hilarious videos are the most viewed. Let's check out his most viewed video of all time. Of course, it's the fall of Jake Paul. That epic diss track he made back in July. That has the most views. Yeah, Little brother Jakey try to roast me? What? Little brother standing on his own two feet? Not for long! Also, look here, I just noticed something. Besides his apology video and his suicide be here tomorrow video, his first 10 most viewed videos are all diss tracks. But hey, he's a YouTube hero, so, you know, you're not gonna get anywhere with him. Let's check out someone else I used to watch, ironically. Yeah, you know, remember this guy? I think I talked about him once or twice before. Let's see how he's doing. Total grade B minus. Wow. He makes $51 through $823 a month, which totals up to $617 through $9,000 a year off of YouTube. I kind of feel bad for him because he used to be so much better, but he went downhill. Like, FitMC was a really good YouTuber up until December 2016 when he hit 100k. Then he became a sellout. He just co fully converted to, to the Minecraft family-friendly shtick that was going on, and just he went downhill so fast. His content died. People still watched him for a while, up until around June 2017, when he hit 150k. But after that, no, no, I'm gonna show you what happened. This is when he started gaining subscribers, around July 2016, when the Russia War on 2B2T started. That's how he started gaining views. He uploaded actually good content about the oldest server in Minecraft, and it was legitimately good. Check out some of his old videos. They are interesting because they explain a bunch of history. And even though you may claim it's a bunch of 30 year old men taking Minecraft seriously. You gotta admit, this is really good for history. It was really good content. So he had a steady flow of subscribers all the way through uh, October 2016. And then he really peaked at around uh, January 2017. Uh, slowly started gaining subscribers, you know, kind of kind of kept uh, at a standstill steady for a while until around July he hit 150,000 subscribers or it was June, July 2017, June 2017. That's when he hit 150k and then he was kind of lingering there for all of summer and then the fall he started dropping and now he's now below 150k, and now it's at 148k. That's honestly sad because he was doing so well in this area, in this era. He uploaded such good stuff right here, 
But what happened was, let's see, what was it? Right around here. Right around here, De uh, December slash January 2017, when his when he went from uh, creating his own original creative Minecraft and other video game content to becoming a sellout, moving into family friendly territory, and just catering to little kids. And as a result of that, his longtime fans lost interest, including me, and unsubscribed and stopped viewing him regularly. I really hope. Because he was a good YouTuber, I really hope he goes back to what he did around this time, because this is when he was at his prime. I really hope he does, but for now, he's going to just linger losing subs. I mean, if you want an idea on how fast he's losing subs, look at this! He is losing liter literal dozens of subs a day. This is the only plus. I see, for subscribers, he gained 7 subs on February 16th. He is losing an average of 33 subs a day, and in the last 30 days, he lost 1,006 subscribers. Even I don't lose subscribers that fast. In his most viewed video, the video that he ironically uploaded on 9-11, exploring the oldest server in Minecraft, Look at this, 2 million views, that is easily his most viewed video, that video alone got him between $978 and $7.8,000, that pretty much caused him to blow up, that was September 11th, 2016, and even all these other videos, look at these other videos, these are all back from summer and early fall of 2016 back when the Russia war was in its prime and he uploaded original creative content. At, at that time at least, you could still make original and creative content in Minecraft, especially on 2B2T, the server he was working with here. Bottom line, Fit can revive his channel if he wants to. All he has to do is just do what he did back in 2016, or at least do something similar. You can't recreate the Russia War. But you can at least do the other videos that he did. For example, he did a ser he did a series where he went onto a bunch of servers and with brought all of his fans with them and crashed the servers. That was fun. Do that again, and you can probably revive your channel, dude. Okay, so I've searched up all the YouTubers I wa I actually watch occasionally or ironically, actually I barely watch any of the YouTubers I searched up. Uh. I'm only doing this because I these YouTubers I used to watch or just ironically watch to laugh now. But now I think it's time. Let's check out how my friends are doing on Social Blade. So we're gonna search up Stack Mania. As you can see, I've already searched it up. This was a while ago. Let's see how Jacob is doing on Social Blade. All right, he's got a grade C. And he makes 36 cents to $6 a month, which totals up to $4 to $68 a year. I say Jacob's doing well for himself on his stacking channel. Don't know why he put comedy as his channel type is just stacking. Let's see which uh, video has his most views. Oh look, it's uh, it's called- oh wait no, I forgot. Most viewed video. Yeah. Make of that what you will. Uh, let's check out his uh, detailed statistics. Uh, well, he isn't really gaining any subscribers here that much, like one every few days, which is more than me. He's actually almost at 200 subs, which is actually pretty good. Uh, I congratulate you, Jacob. And uh, as you can see from uh, uh, December 2016, he's slowly but surely increased in subs. Uh, he's actually not really at a standstill right now. His subs are slow, but consistent. So that's pretty good. Uh, uh, I'm happy for you, Jacob. I am happy for you. Alright, let's look up. Let's, uh, check another one of my friends. Yeah, let's see how Lily is doing. Well, her total rank is a D, and she earns... 2 cents through 35 cents a month, which totals up to 26 cents through $4 a year. Her channel type is games, even though she uploads art stuff very rarely at that. 
But uh, you know, let's let's see which video is her most viewed video. I can take a guess at what it is. It's one of her it's one of her early ones and it's one of her game night series videos. Yep, yep, I knew it, I knew it. Game Night 999's Mini Adventure Season Alone Part 1. Of course it is, of course it is. And uh, let's check out her detailed statistics, see uh, how her subs are doing. She has gained literally no subs in the past 30 days. And, whoa, okay, her total sub count is a bit whacked up here. So it's been pretty even throughout uh, early 2017 and fall of 2016. Spiked here and there, but then when she came back, when she joined us again in July 2017, that's when it started to spike. Look, and it spiked up. This was at its highest point here, uh, uh, early November 20, uh, 2017 when she had like 33 subs and now she's down to 32 and it's been at a standstill ever since so this is actually the most inconsistent um I mean look at this all the other sub counts were consistent this one has no consistency whatsoever interesting okay two more people I want to check out let's check out Loof the Oof let's check out Vicente See how many subscribers he has. Here we go. <laughs> Not enough subscribers. We require a minimum of five subscribers to get entered into our database. It does not appear that this channel has met this requirement. If you think this is an issue, please take a minute and fill out a support ticket. Vicente literally doesn't have enough subscribers to be on Social Blade yet. And finally, last but not least, we gotta check out how well I'm doing on Social Blade, you know. See how Mega underscore Mastermind is doing. Okay, so as you guys know, I'm a YouTube millionaire. Uh, I make 4 cents through 70 cents a month with my videos, which totals up to 53 cents through 8 bucks a year. With my videos as you can see I am a millionaire I make I'm just rolling in that YouTube money right now and you know what let's look at my detail statistics let's see how uh, let's see how I'm doing in subscribers so let's see I have gained nothing most of these 30 days I lost one on February 11th 2016 but I gained one uh, actually today I gained a subscriber today so I'm back at 107 subscribers, and let's see, I, yeah, I think I've been pretty consistent with uh, my subs. I mainly blew up, uh, and then used the term, I used the term blew up very loosely for me, because it didn't blow up, it was just getting a few subscribers. But it was around, Ap it was pretty much around uh, April 2016 through uh, uh, April 2017 that I kind of blew up here that this is when I gained my uh, rock wall of subscribers and it's just kind of been lingering here ever since but yeah uh, that's how I'm doing on YouTube right now wait gotta check out my most viewed video I already know what it is can you guess what it is can you guess what my most viewed video of all time is first video I ever made the Minecraft Machinima from September 19th, 2016. The Daily Life of a Noob. 228 views. And that's not a lot, but for my standards, it kind of is. But yeah, the fir and also, my second most viewed video is How the Pro Stole Christmas, which is a true classic of mine. True, true Christmas uh, classic. Uh, I think they should put it on the HBO channel during Christmas when they run all their uh, corny holiday Christmas movies. Uh, I want to see how the pros stole Christmas uh, in with all those movies. Put it next to Jim Carrey's The Grinch and Christmas with the Cranks. It'll fit perfectly. Anyway, if you liked this video, leave a like and share it with your friends. And if you didn't like this video, leave a dislike and share it with all the people who you hate. And maybe follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to. I don't know. Well, 
I'm gonna go back inside this six million dollar mansion that I totally own and isn't a stock photo that I found and you know just play on my giant uh, gaming studio setup and then also jump into my Olympic sized swimming pool. Okay, bye.